Hey everybody, on today's episode of the Sibling Soiree, we're rounding out Women's History Month with Aslina Wines, the first black female produced wine from South Africa. Join us as we celebrate women and cultures from around the world, one bite and sip at a time. You are invited. The Sibling Soiree, get loose, come pate. No, you had a long day, kick it, Montare. Never feel sorry hey, for living your best life. We gonna get just right. Sip fine wine, good dine, great vibes, all black beers on the rise. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Lucinda. And I'm Eric. And welcome to the Sibling Soiree, a space where we sample and support black-owned food and beverage companies. That's right. It's March and it's Women's History Month. It is Women's History Month. This is all the women that hey. hands up and oh, I'll let you sing that. <laughs> <laughs> the song is catchy. I was like, hey. <laughs> no, but honestly, <laughs> shout out to all the women, yes. all like the strong, intelligent, smart yes. women that are just doing amazing things. We wanted to highlight one of them today, yeah. um, hence the bottle that we chose. Absolutely, and more importantly, Women's History Month is also encompassing of International Women's, Women's Day, Day, right? That's right. That's so right. we know that we celebrate women all over the world yep. in March, yep. and so we thought it was appropriate for us to highlight our first international bottle that's on right. the Sibling Soiree. That's right. Yeah. So that's Aslina Wines mm -hmm. um, by Enzicchi Buella. Yes. Um, amazing, amazing winemaker. Mm -hmm. uh, this bottle, I mean, this brand, mm -hmm. I think 2016, it's, yeah. it's fairly Still new. Fairly new. Uh, but her process and, and experience in wine is not new at all. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. But more importantly, she is the first black woman mm -hmm. South African yeah. winemaker. Yeah. So if you're aware, you know, South Africa has one of the largest producers of right. wine. You know, they've got vast wine lands. Yeah. So for her to be the first black woman It's kind of wild that after all this time in such a vast, you know, field yeah. for, for that region, for right. that area, that she's the first, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, those moments continue to blow my mind. They continue to yeah. in 2021. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But, you know, hence why we're here. So, mm -hmm. you know, just shout out um, to her and, and her brand because I think that's an amazing feat. Yeah. This time and yeah, we respect it. Mm -hmm. So cheers to all the women who continue to be trendsetters, mm. continue to be first, mm -hmm. but definitely not last. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. That's delicious. It's good. This is one of my favorites, I think, that we've tried so far. Yeah. Um, it's a shard. It's, it's, a, it's a shard. You know, shards usual. are my favorite yeah. white wine, yeah. really. You know, especially like really good oaky, buttery mm. Chardonnays. You mm -hmm. know, they tend to be more full body yeah. than other white wines. Um, so this is very tasty. It is. It is tasty. Yeah. And so I, I've tried a few of her other bottles. The Cab is really tasty. They're, mm -hmm. they're all really good. Mm. Um, this was available and easy at my mm -hmm. local liquor, liquor store. Um, I think that... She's around the U.S. It's, yeah. it's pretty easy to find in the yeah, U.S. Yeah, yeah. Um, this bottle retailed at twenty two ninety nine. Oh, so that's not bad at all. So not bad at all. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and they're they're all really good, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we know that you know she ended up getting a scholarship to Stellenbosch University, yeah. like after high school, right? She yeah, got, she got pretty a, much. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, you know, kind of had an opportunity to have fellowships really to travel all over the world. She did some work mm -hmm. in France and in Italy. Right. She even came to the United States to tour all of these different wine lands to really, mm -hmm. again, just hone in on her own craft, yeah, you know? Yeah. She talked about what it was like to, you know, be in the room in these cellars and talking to people in, mm -hmm. in, these, in these circles mm -hmm. and that made this passion of hers grow like yeah. she, she had you know this passion to start her own yeah her own wine label but but more importantly her being the only one you right. know so she right. said oh okay there was a woman who was there but she was like checking people in right. not having actually other women particularly black women right. in those spaces yeah. so she's mostly in a room full of white men because yeah. you know they're kind of the ones who are at the, the front of the industry especially mm -hmm. there you know mm -hmm. or most places honestly um but she said still feeling the vibe and and getting to know you know the grapes and about yeah. the process like yeah. was very special to her and that mm -hmm. drove her to create her own mm -hmm. and also the representation right yeah she was like we should be in this space yes. and yeah. good for her yeah. because yeah. yeah you know and not only should we be in this space but she's also adamant about the fact that we should bring others into this space mm -hmm. as well so she mm -hmm. serves on the board of directors for the All pinotage right. youth, youth academy isn't that amazing and i knew you love pinotage, <laughs> I love pinotage. Uh, and it's <laughs> also a great cause because yeah. you know you're you're empowering the youth and teaching them about this so that you know more of us can be in this space and they're, yeah. they're learning this early mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And that's a really special cause. I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to all of those again who are who have made space for mm -hmm. other people to be able yeah. to come back. Well, in. you know, that's what we have to do, right? Yeah. Because we don't want this to be a fleeting moment. We're starting to see more and more people of color in these spaces, mm -hmm. and we should be, right? So let's make sure we do our job to pass it on to the next generation, so yeah. it doesn't stop there. Absolutely. You know. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So. We always talk about like the family connection, right? Because yeah. you know the soiree is a family show, and, right. and we we love that angle with these brands. We always try to find it, mm -hmm. um, and I think this one is really cute and special mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. Aslina is her grandmother's yeah. name, and she was very close to her grandmother. Yeah, she was uh, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. So you know, she, she decided when she created this bottle, it's like what better way to pay homage to her grand than yeah. you know naming the bottle yeah. after. Yeah. What will Granny do? We've talked about we that. Did, we've done this. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. So again, you know, being a, a product of you know. The, the the I'm my ancestor's wildest dreams, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. So her ability to be able to not only be uh, award winning, mm -hmm. several awards, mind yeah. you. Oh, like uh, several global awards. for her as a winemaker, for yeah. the bottle as a brand, each yes. bottle individually. Yeah. I mean, she's racking them Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, how beautiful is it that you know every time she's in these spaces, mm -hmm. her grandmother's name is being mentioned. It's beautiful. It's just amazing. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> we love. It. We do. It's pairing time. We <laughs> love my favorite part time. of the episode. <laughs> Clearly, you all know that. <laughs> Such a foodie. Eh? Oh, Jale, it's okay to be a foodie. Hey, this is a safe space. It's a safe space to be a foodie. <laughs> Listen, and if you haven't already checked out our foodie Fridays, you should definitely Check follow it out. us We're on cooking Instagram for you every Friday. We're Let do us that. know what you want to see next. Okay. Absolutely. So, speaking of, yeah. A foodie end moment. Yes. <laughs> it's pairing time. It's pairing time. And honestly, this one brings a lot of nostalgia mm, for me. Yeah. Um, so today we're pairing our shard, again, in the theme of South Africa, right. with Malva pudding. pudding. Malva right. pudding. Malva pudding, the first time I ever tried Malva pudding yeah. was in South Africa. Right. Um, so I've been really blessed. I, you know, I really can't credit it to anything else. To have an opportunity when I was at Howard mm -hmm. to help design this international service learning program where we would take students in the social work program to South Africa. So for yeah. five years in a row, yeah. I had a chance to spend some time in Cape Town. Yeah. And Malva Sticky Pudding is that's definitely a, a one of my favorite staples there. Yeah. And so I'll talk as we eat, Let's. but ultimately it's a, a sweet toffee flavored cake. Right. Almost kind of like a pudding. Almost like a tres leches. It's, yeah, right? okay. it's it like has that kind of vibe. It's very moist. Moist yeah. consistency. Mm -hmm. And so of course it could be served with ice cream or right. in this case a vanilla custard. Custard, yeah. Mm. This looks good. So yeah, we're just gonna just pour this pour all this. over the top. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. You are invited, eh? Yeah, invited. Uh... <laughs> Enjoy. Mm. That's yummy. Yeah, so That's you know, good. each time that um, you know I had an opportunity mm. to spend time in Cape Town, mm -hmm. I would just try different cuisines, mm -hmm. and of course fabulous wines mm -hmm. and you know this wine particularly comes from Stellenbosch and I had a chance to visit a oh, number nice. of wine lands in yeah. Stellenbosch. Mm -hmm. Shout out to African okay. Travel Desk. Um, they often would hook me up with amazing wine tours oh, that's and that was like my recipe. I mean, when in, when in South Africa, mm. <laughs> you know, some of the best vineyards and the best wineries like why wouldn't you explore as much as you can? You know right? what? We were so busy working really really hard so yeah. it was like the one free day we would get I'd say mm -hmm. look I'm going to pick one person, yeah. come with me, and we're going to do a full day wine tour. Nice. It would blow my mind how beautiful, mm. how beautiful it was. Mm -hmm. Literally, you'd be on these spaces that had like mountains in the background mm -hmm. and like just acres and acres of vineyards. Mm -hmm. And you'd be having like this picnic lunch with like an awesome glass of Chard or uh, Chenin Blanc. See, this is where my jealousy and my FOMO kicks in, right? So, <laughs> I'm going to talk about this for a second because y'all know I travel, right? Mm -hmm. It's a passion of mine. I've been to many places. I'm very blessed in that way. Yeah. Uh, but one place, which is very high on my list that I have not been to yet, is South Africa. And I just, I wish I could have like tagged along to one of your programs one year. I, I don't know why I didn't try to. I know. But you've been multiple times. We even sent our parents there. Yeah. As a gift. <laughs> and I haven't even been there yet. So I. I like they will come. I mean, it's coming, it's coming. But now I have to wait, you know. Well, maybe we'll bring our sips with us. Hey, that would be great. Yeah, explore some food and, yeah. and, and beverages in South Africa. But seriously, have you ever been to a place that's been so beautiful that taking pictures doesn't do it justice? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Especially because I'm obsessed with taking a picture and documenting these right. great moments that I experienced. Right. But it's never the same. It's like sometimes just to see it in person is, you know, you can't. 
it doesn't translate. It doesn't translate. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, so it's almost like I couldn't fully enjoy my experiences because mm. I'd just be sitting there saying, Tam, mm. I wish my husband saw this. Damn, mm. I wish my brother I saw this. I want to share this with Damn, everyone. I wish but, I yeah. could bring my parents here. Like, you want to share it. Yeah. So that's much, great. right? That's great, though, yeah. Oh, but it was so beautiful. And there's so much history in South Africa. And the mm. people are diverse and gorgeous mm -hmm. and friendly. And, mm. you know, it was just a really, really great period in my life yeah. where I had an opportunity to celebrate, you know, the rich culture. That's so awesome. Yeah. So awesome. I mean, I don't take for granted these these great moments that you have when you travel, you know. The world is vast. Yeah. And there's there's so many cool things to see oh, yeah. and and cultures to experience and, and food to eat. And food to <laughs> eat. I mean, <laughs> And uh, yeah, we want to eat our way around the world. So. We want to eat our way around the world. <laughs> but, and look, the thing is this. If you don't have the opportunity or the luxury to actually get on a plane, get a visa, get, mm -hmm. your, get your COVID right. vaccine right, right. Uh, before <laughs> it, being able to travel, yeah. you have ample opportunities to try diverse things Absolutely. right here Absolutely. in your own neighborhood. You can travel the world in your own, in your own neighborhood yeah. in your own city yeah we have all of these diverse restaurants mm -hmm. and cultures and mm -hmm. different neighborhoods mm -hmm. you know take a day yeah. visit a neighborhood yeah. you know just immerse yourself in that culture eat that food mm -hmm. there's there's so many ways to see the world without actually going to these places right? Absolutely. So take advantage of that well i even <laughs> challenge you to try a new restaurant mm. at least once every quarter maybe it's not going to be once every month yeah. but at least once every quarter yeah, do something allow different. yourself to try something different you Agreed. never know if you're going to try it and absolutely fall in love with it right. and guess what if you don't like it you don't have to go back there at least you try something else right. That's right. say yes to life Indeed. say yes but listen at least we know here at the sibling soiree we're going to do the best of our ability to expose you to different and diverse That's cultures right. we will travel the world here so yes. come along the journey with us <laughs> you are invited you are invited until next time cheers, cheers. e and lou lovers of drinks and food Sharing that fleek review, helping you identify jewels, the gems and the places, something like the water and oasis. Buy black, that's a great win. Circulate the dollar, that's what we call amazing. Ah.